This video is about motion capture. Free version in 2024. Wait, 2024? I guess we should do this one more time. About a year ago, I made this video showing you my motion capture method. It's it's not clickable. You just have to find it on my channel. Anyway, today I'd like to make a new video showing you my new motion capture method for 2025. So follow me and let's begin. What's going on here? Hello, Fisher. What? What do you want from me? Where's the new video you promised? Look, man, I'm sorry. I've been busy. I moved apartments. I got a new job. It's been chaos. Excuses. You're getting on my nerves. Maybe it's time I introduced you to true chaos. Hope you enjoyed this little demo. Now you might be asking yourself, how did Jimmy do this animation? <laughs> well, I used a cheap mocap solution called Quick Magic AI. This little software actually has helped me speed up my mocap process. Let me tell you how. Quick Magic AI generates mocap data from a 2D video file. So you can basically record yourself with your phone, bring it into their website. In just a few seconds, your mocap data is ready. That's how quick it is. Moreover, the data itself is so clean that it saves a lot of cleanup time. I personally tested it in every scene of this video, and I'm really impressed by the quality of the data it gives from just a 2D video file. If you want to check out more about this product, you can check the link down below to get their website, and it also supports my channel. Inside Unreal Editor, I first retargeted the animation onto my metahuman, then it was time for refinements. In this case, the character was going straight through the claw, obviously that doesn't look right. So once I positioned the animation sequence, I baked the animation onto my metahuman in order to make some refinements, that gave me full control over each frame. From there, I repositioned the root, rotated the body, and added keyframes to fix the pose. And you don't just do this once, you repeat it across the sequence, making sure every movement feels grounded and believable. Then you'll have something like what I showed you in the intro. That's the real process, moving, rotating, keyframing, until the whole animation looks smooth and polished. Now, Quick Magic AI does offer 2D refinement tools, but I usually prefer to do this directly inside the scene, because every scene is different. For instance, here I specifically needed to match the animation to the claw. And before finishing, I just wanted to add that Quick Magic AI's FBX export supports 24, 30, 60, and even 120 frames per second, which is insane. But I usually stick with 30 FPS because it's perfectly fine for my workflow and it's, it costs less V coins. That's basically a Quick Magic AI currency. Oh, by the way, for the facial motion capture, I use my iPhone. And that's all there is to it, guys. I'd like to thank you for the support and likes throughout my YouTube journey. And I know, I haven't uploaded as consistently as, as a YouTuber should, but I'll be more consistent from now on. That's a promise to myself and to you. So thank you again, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now. Haha, <laughs> this Jimmy guy again. Alright, back to work.